Morning, Jack. Morning, Andy. You all right? I'm good, thank you. OK, then. So, just to kick off, how would you define digital marketing? Is it only applicable to social media? I mean, for us here, digital marketing is predominantly based around social media. But no, I think it's email marketing, it's the internet. Isn't it the case that these new kids on the block, the new online agents, they're already exploiting these avenues. This whole thing about online agent, I don't quite understand what an online agent is. They're not doing anything different to anybody else. They still send somebody out who comes and values your house. I see them advertising or pitching for business on social media, but they're not actually putting any property or stock that's available on social media. How do you implement your strategy? In terms of a strategy, um, obviously we do a lot of video content. That's then put out on social media in terms of Facebook, Instagram, um, and then that's direct marketed onto people's newsfeed. We'll direct it to them and put it in front of them as opposed to them having to come and find that kind of property. So what's in your videos and why does it go on social media? Um, the videos are, a lot of our stuff is done out in the green room. So we have a green room out the back, we have a full-time videographer. It tells people a little bit about the area, a little bit about the properties, the stuff that you can't see, but you want to know a little bit more about. Hopefully it saves a lot of legwork. Do all of the viewings from the comfort of your own home. But if someone may not particularly be looking for a house, you need to put it in front of them to tempt them. It's a bit more proactive as opposed to reactive. So who does this appeal to then? It appeals to everybody. I think it just makes it easier and it makes the, you know, the experience much nicer for clients. So one house we sold a little while ago, it was a presenter-led tour, so we had the film crew out and we, talk, you know, we actually walked around the house. So at the back of the house there was one bit where I actually thought personally if I was to buy this house I'd take this wall down and open up the kitchen dining room, bifold doors in and open out onto the garden. He bought it purely based on that, so you go, well, it's, it's a good thing, it's working very well. How do you measure the results and what do the results show you? At the back end of everything that we use, so Google, our website, YouTube, Facebook, you can log into the back end it has an analytics page, so it tells you everything that you need to know, from where people are viewing you from or visiting your site or your videos, how much of the video they're watching, whether the demographic is male or female, and we really kind of have a look at their numbers on a daily basis to see what we can do better, what it tells us, and where the money is best spent. The majority of purchases are done now where people are putting them on your feed. I mean, prime example, Saturday night, I was sitting indoors watching the TV, um, something come up on my news feed, it was a keyboard cover that is for Photoshop. Well, I didn't even know these existed. That kind of stuff is what happens on proactive marketing. And the same with these houses. Someone might not know that there's a one-bed house available or one-bed flat in Rochester, but they will soon. Thank you very much. No, thank you, Jack. It's been good. It's been emotional. Indeed.